In this video, before we take a look at the other files, I will introduce you to a new concept which is dependency injection. ASP.NET Core implements a simple built-in dependency injection. Container dependency injection is an integral part of the ASP.NET Core architecture. .NET Core injects objects of dependency classes through constructor by using the built-in IOC container. Before I show you what advantages dependency injection brings, let's see a scenario where there is no dependency injection. In a typical application, let's say we have three pages right now and we have some common functionality that we want to use across all the three pages. Like let's say we want to send emails and we want to access our database in all the three pages that we have. Now let's imagine that on these three pages we need to access the database first. So what we will do is we will create the object for database classes on all the three pages. We will have to open that connection. We will have to do the database operation and then we will have to close the connection in all the places. To do the same and create object for email implementation that we have in all the three pages. So you can see this is lot of duplicate code. On top of that, what happens in future if you change the implementation of how you access the database or email? Based on the current configuration, you might have to make that change in all of the three pages, which is a big mess because right now it's three pages, down the line it could be 30 or 300 pages. Another issue here is that on each page, you will deal with creating the object, managing them, as well as disposing them. And that will be a time-consuming effort when we have to do that in all the pages. So that being said, what is a solution to avoid all of this and get an optimal architecture? The answer to all of that is dependency injection. First, let me show how this scenario would look like Again, we will have the three pages and we will have email and database functionality. These are the common things that we had before as well. But now we will have something special, which is dependency injection container. So as you can see, we have got our dependency injection container that will have an iEmail and an iDB interface and its implementation. So inside our container, we have the implementation of the iEmail interface and the iDB interface. When any page will need access to these functionalities, it will just ask the dependency injection container to create an object of this functionality and directly give page an object to use. So inside the page, we will actually be using an interface and then dependency injection does all its magic of passing the object when the website needs it. That way we do not have to deal with creating the object, disposing or managing that object inside our pages. Our pages will look very clean with just the interface. All the instance and implementation will be done by dependency injection container. Now in future, if you want to change or replace the email class, you do not have to make any changes in the pages. All you have to do is just change the implementation inside the email class. And since we are registering that in the container, next time when we build the project, it will take the new implementation. So you can see we only have to change in one place now. That is one of the main advantage that comes with dependency injection. Now, in order to use dependency injection, you can use many third-party tools. But with .NET Core, we have a built-in dependency injection container and that has its own advantages. So I hope with that, you have a short overview of how dependency injection is helpful.